fine so today we are going to start with the firewalls and when i talk about the cisco firewall we shall start with the cisco asa so <coughs> so first of all we need to understand what is asa basically the asa stands for adaptive security appliance fine so that's the full form for the AS, asa second thing when i say that cisco asa is a firewall technically that's that's a wrong statement fine that's not a correct statement to be uh, precise because when you talk about the asa asa is not a firewall basically asa is a appliance or you can say device on which you are getting the firewall as a service fine now try to understand for example if i say that uh, my router i am having a router right so if we say that router is a routing device no that's not in, that's incorrect because a router can uh, can perform the switching to a router can perform the functionality of firewall to right so basically right. router is a appliance it's a device on which we are getting the uh, routing service we are getting the switching service however router is purely designed to perform the routing in the network right that's why we are saying that router is a routing device but actual it is a device or it is a box on which you are getting the routing as a service similarly when you talk about the cisco asa asa is a appliance it's a it's a box and on that box you are getting a service which is known as firewall fine now let's try to understand what firewall simply means in a very simple term uh, i can say that firewall is used uh, to protect or you can say firewall limits the traffic based on the rules configured on it fine so in very simple manner we can say that firewall is a appliance it's a device which limits the traffic based on the rules configured on it that means what i'm trying to say is let's suppose that's my device or you can say my box my appliance fine that's my box now talking about the firewall i just told you that if you talk about the cisco asa the cisco asa is a box which is dedicatedly providing you the firewall feature or you can say the firewall service fine now if you talk about the basic firewall what do we understand with the firewall terminology so the basically the firewall says any any appliance or any service which will limit the traffic what do we mean by limiting the traffic for example if there are 10 users here fine let's suppose that's your lan network that's your wan network here you are connected with the isp that's your firewall now you want out of these 10 users only 5 users should be allowed to reach to the internet fine so this so basically you can configure certain rules on the fi firewall fine and the firewall will allow only these 5 users 
traffic to pass through the van network rest of the users rest of the five users traffic will get block on the firewall why because you are limiting the traffic based on the policies which you are going to configure as a network administrator or as a security engineer fine now <coughs> now when we talk about cisco asa as i just told you that cisco asa is basically it is a dedicated appliance which is going to provide you the firewall service fine but now the question is uh, does fire does cisco asa can perform routing so the answer is yes a cisco firewall can perform routing too second question does cisco asa can perform switching so the answer is yes fine so so the whole thing that you need to understand is that when i talk about a router a router is a appliance on which you can perform routing it can also work as a firewall it can also work as a switching device however it has been designed purely to perform the routing similarly goes for the cisco asa asa has been designed to work as a firewall however the cisco asa can also perform routing cisco asa can also work as a switch fine now uh when i talk about the deployment modes of the cisco asa you can deploy cisco uh, asa either physical in the physical mode or you can deploy the cisco asa in the virtual mode now what do i mean by this uh <coughs> fine that's cisco let now cisco is offering the firewall let's suppose as a user you would like to purchase the firewall from the cisco cisco says we have a firewall which is named as asa is it clear now cisco says if you are a customer let's suppose that you are a customer fine and you ask cisco that i would like to have a firewall cisco says we have a firewall which is named as asa now cisco will ask you how would you like to purchase the firewall would you like to purchase a physical firewall or you would like to purchase a virtual firewall now what do i mean by this or what does cisco mean by this uh as i told you that uh, asa means that it is a box it is a device on which the cisco has installed the asa operating system or you can say the firewall operating system on it fine so when cisco is giving you a dedicated appliance when cisco says that we can give you a physical firewall that means that's also a box on which cisco has installed the the asa or you can say the firewall operating system this is called physical firewall now cisco can also offer you virtual firewall virtual firewall what does it means now it means that for example if you are having a server fine now cisco will say if you are already having a box then just purchase this operating system from us just purchase this operating system from us and you can install on your server or on your box is it clear so that what physical and virtual means so you can uh, <coughs> purchase the firewall from the cisco either the you can uh, you can purchase a dedicated appliance that is a physical firewall or you can purchase the virtual firewall from the cisco fine uh second thing what are the features that are available on the cisco asa 
So let's talk about the feature. The first feature that Cisco ASA gives you is stateful packet inspection. Fine. This is the very first feature. You will always encounter these terminologies, stateful packet inspection, stateless packets inspection. So what does it mean by stateful uh, packet inspection? Stateful packet inspection just simply means, uh, let's suppose that's your firewall, fine. And there is a user over here, that's ISP. That's your ASA. Fine. Let's suppose that a TCP synchronized packet has been initiated, initiated by the user. The source IP is 10.1. Let's suppose the destination IP could be any public IP. Let's suppose the destination IP, any server on the internet. Let's suppose that the Facebook server. So the IP address is 8.8.8.1. Fine. Now, when this packet will be passed through the firewall, firewall will maintain a table. Firewall will create a table. And in that table, firewall will keep an entry that a packet having the source IP 10.1, having the destination IP 8.8.8.1, for the port number, having the source port number this, having the destination port number this, has been passed through from the LAN side to WAN side. Now, whenever the firewall is going to receive the packet, firewall will first of all, will check the connection table or what, or what you can say the table which firewall is going to maintain. Now, the firewall will say if this packet matches the information which has been requested by my internal user, if the packet matches the same information, then firewall will allow the traffic to pass through as it will block the traffic. Fine. So do you remember guys, we have discussed something called uh, reflexive ACL in the reflexive ACL, or you can say the TCP intercept. I told you that the, your routers are going to maintain something called a table. Fine. On the basis of table, your router keeps an eye whether this packet has been initiated from LAN to WAN or WAN to LAN, right? Similar is the case with the firewall. Firewall is going to maintain a table and in that table, firewall will keep on monitoring which traffic is passing from LAN to WAN and which traffic is passing from WAN to LAN. So basically, firewall will pass or block the traffic, first of all, based on the rules you have configured. For example, if you have allowed this user to reach to the internet, obviously the firewall is first of all going to check the rule. If the rule allow, the firewall will let the packet pass through, right? But when the traffic will return from the uh, WAN interface, the firewall will check the rules. Obviously, the rule will say, please do not allow any packet from the WAN, but firewall will also check the table. Does this packet requested by the internal user? Yes, it matches the table. So firewall will allow this traffic. This is something called stateful packet inspection. <coughs> stateful packet inspection means that your firewall is going to keep the state of an connection updated. Is it clear, Amit? Um, Mr. Mike, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you fine with this? Yes, all is good. Okay. Thank you. Mm. <coughs> Let's talk about the second feature that Cisco ASA offers you. Cisco ASA all, all supports NAT. So I hope everybody is aware of the NAT protocol. NAT is used to translate IP addresses as simple as that. So I don't think I am, uh, I do require to explain about this. You can enable the NAT types on the Cisco ASA, which we will configure in upcoming classes. 
Cisco ASA supports VPN also. So again, VPN, VPN is a feature which Cisco ASA supports. Cisco, a if you want to configure the VPN on the ASA, that is also possible. Either you talk about <clears throat> site to site VPN or you talk about remote VPN. Fine, both the VPNs are can, can be configured on the ASA. Now, what do I mean by site to site VPN? Site to site VPN means when you are creating a VPN between two dedicated devices. Fine. For example, uh, ASA to ASA, you are creating a VPN connection between two ASAs or you are creating a VPN connection between ASA to router. Fine. That is what site to site VPN means. Because whatever IP addresses you are going to configure on your firewall, on your router, it is going to remain same, right? Throughout. So that is why when you, oh, you are creating the VPN connection between the two uh, particular sites, between the two dedicated appliances, it is generally termed as site to site VPN. Fine. But when I talk about remote VPN, that means you are creating the VPN connection between uh, and machine and machine means your PC or laptop to ASA. Fine. So Cisco ASA support both the types of VPN. Fourth feature. Cisco ASA supports the failover feature. Now, what do we mean by failover? Failover means, uh, let's suppose that in your real-time network, uh, you are having a network design something like this. There is a <coughs> there is a, a customer edge router, fine, which is connected with ISP. Then for the security purpose, you have installed a dedicated physical Cisco firewall. Then you are having your core switch, L3 switch, and then the distribution layer. And finally, the end users. Fine. Now try to understand. Let's suppose that you have configured certain rules on the Cisco firewall to make your LAN network. That's your LAN network, right? To make this network secure, you have configured certain policies, rules, you have blocked certain kind of traffic, you have allowed some traffic. Now, let's suppose that if this firewall goes down, because firewall is also a machine, a machine may go down, it may burn out, anything can be happened, right? So what does failover mean? Failover means that there should be a such feature available on the firewall that if one firewall goes down, then other firewall should uh, take the role of the, pre, the working firewall. So in such a scenario, what I can do, I can configure, I can purchase two firewall. I can purchase two firewall, fine. And what we are going to do, I will ask this firewall to become my primary firewall and we will configure the other firewall as secondary firewall. So what happens? By default, all the traffic will be forwarded from the fi primary firewall only. But let's suppose that if your primary firewall goes down, then this secondary firewall, you do not need to uh, make another, uh, you do not need to perform configuration on the secondary firewall. No, by default, the primary firewall and the secondary firewall, they both will keep on communicating with each other. And whatever configuration as an administrator, you are going to perform on the primary fall, primary firewall, it will be synchronized to the secondary firewall. Fine. So that means if your primary firewall goes down, then your secondary firewall will going to have all the rules. Okay. And then your traffic will, for, will be forwarded from the secondary firewall. Is it clear? So that is what failover means. Failover means that there should be alternative if one firewall goes down. Now, when you talk about the Cisco ASA, on the Cisco ASA, you can configure failover in two, uh, in two modes. One is active standby mode. Active standby mode means 
one firewall is active and the other one is reactive like i just told you primary firewall and the secondary firewall that the traffic will pass through only the one firewall when one firewall will go down then the secondary firewall will pass the traffic is it clear how there is another failover type is active 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 means that you can configure both the firewalls to become active and to pass through the traffic however in case if one firewall goes down then the other active firewall will take over all the responsibilities of the other down firewall so you can configure failover on the cisco asa in two modes active standby and active active so that's the feature cisco asa gives you <coughs> another thing uh cisco asa gives you a feature which is known as context now uh, what is context question. sorry sorry i'm just yes, sir. in the middle so when we are talking about active active Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, left firewall also work. Right firewall also work. Right. Absolutely. Both. So, uh, it, 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 in case my data is traveling, so it will travel. Uh, uh, who will decide that uh, from uh, which firewall uh, it will go from this left one or Tarun, from right one? Tarun, this is not the right time to talk okay. about this because when once we will discuss about the failover, we will. I'll explain you all these things. It was failover. That's why I was asking. It's okay. i right now we are just uh, we are just discussing that what feature cisco asa offers you okay 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 in the in the upcoming next to, uh, next 15 to 20 classes we are going to discuss and we are going to perform the configurations of all these features whatever we are discussing right now okay okay i oh, understand uh, we are discussing only features okay okay, okay. now cisco firewall sys or you can say cisco asa gives you one more feature which is known as context now what do you understand by context context means uh converting one firewall into multiple logical firewalls fine so let 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 us just relate it with the vlan we are having a switch by default all the ports of the switch are in vlan 1 they are they will be able to communicate with each other but let's suppose if i put this port in a different vlan let's suppose in vlan 2 so that means i am virtually i am virtually segregating my switch right because now this particular port of my switch will not forward the traffic to this port right so in the similar manner let's suppose that if some day you have a requirement that your single firewall should be working as a multiple firewall or let's suppose that you are having a small scale organization but you feel that there should there should be at least two firewall within your organization but the organization is not having enough budget to purchase two dedicated firewall so in such a scenario cisco asa gives you a feature which is known as context and context and the context says that this is one physical firewall right now you can create you can convert this one physical firewall into multiple logical firewall let's suppose that that that, uh, that becomes your asa virtual one asa virtual two asa virtual Three. Now all these logical firewalls will have their own set of rules, will have their own policies, will have their own interfaces. Is it clear? So that is what context means. <laughs> uh, uh, Prashant. Yes. Uh, uh, like when you said they have their own separate interfaces, so I did mm -hmm. not get this part. Uh, you did okay. Uh, Okay. Can I compare this as from the VRF, like 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 the way? Absolutely, are... absolutely, absolutely. See, uh, try to uh, Amit. For example, this is my physical firewall. Fine. On this mm -hmm. firewall, I am having four interfaces. Fine. Okay. Now I would like to uh, create multiple logical firewall on my this physical firewall. So let's suppose mm -hmm. that I have created two virtual firewalls, two logical. firewalls 
on this physical firewall using the feature context. Now, what mm -hmm. do I mean by this? They will be having their own interface. That means these physical interfaces of the firewall, I need to assign them. Okay. So I will assign, let's suppose I have assigned these two interfaces with the ASA virtual one and these two interfaces with the ASA virtual one. Is it clear, Amit? Yes, yes. So that is what I mean by this. There is another feature that is offered by Cisco ASA that is module. Now on the Cisco ASA, we can add modules. Now, <coughs> what is this modules? <clears throat> That's your firewall. Let's suppose that this firewall is having four interfaces. Fine. One is console port. Another one is USB port. These four interfaces are data interfaces. Fine. Gig 0 slash 0, gig 0 slash 1, gig 2, gig 3. This is my management interface on the firewall. Fine. That's power supply where you plug in the power cable. Now there is a, there will be a blank space or you can say a module, a space for the module will be given on the Cisco ASA. Now, what do you understand by this module? Module means, for example, let's, let's say you would like to have eight interfaces. Let's suppose you would like to have eight interfaces on the firewall. But when you are going to purchase the firewall, by default, it will come with the four interfaces only. Fine. So what you can do, you can purchase a module, let's suppose NM4X. So with this NM4X module, you will, you will be able to get four another uh, Ethernet ports, right? However, when I talk about this module specifically for the ASA, Let me tell you right now, we are having ASA. This ASA term has been replaced. Uh, you can say the firewall ASA has been replaced with something called ASA X. I'll take you to the Cisco website. Don't worry. And I'll show you this ASA X. So basically what, what used to happen approximately 10 years or 15 years back. Okay. So. Cisco was selling its firewall with the name as ASA only, fine. And on the ASA, Cisco was providing something called modules. Modules, again, you can insert some um, <coughs> cards and on the base of the cards, you can uh, get the number of, you can increase the number of interfaces or, or, or let me tell you what else you can do with the module. Uh, guys, have you heard about uh, anyone of you, have you heard about the sensors on the firewall ever or the antivirus service on the firewall? Uh, yes. Right. I hope everybody understands the antivirus service. Okay. Let, okay. So what, what is used to happen? That's my, by def, that's my basic ASA. Fine. There is a module over here. Now, uh, this firewall is going to limit the traffic. Whatever rules you are going to configure on it, on the basis of those rules, the firewall will allow or block the traffic. As simple as that. But let's suppose that you would like that whatever, whenever any traffic, whenever any traffic pass through the firewall, firewall should check if the data is carrying any kind of virus. Fine. Now, by default, the Cisco ASA does not have this feature. Cisco used, previously around five years back or 10 years back, Cisco used to have a dedicated appliance, fine, which is, uh, you, which, 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 were, which was having the name as sensor. 
so basically this sensor was is was a dedicated device which provides the service of antivirus that means for example that's your asa that asa will be further connected with the sensor and whatever traffic will pass through the firewall it will first insert into the sensor and sensor will check for the virus in the data fine but later on when the technology grown up what cisco came up with the solution cisco said that instead of purchasing a dedicated box for the sensor cisco gives cisco gave up a small module now you can add this module on the firewall and now your firewall can give you two services simultaneously one is one the firewall service and the second service is sensor service that means now your firewall is going to block or permit the traffic along with that your firewall is going to check the traffic with the viruses fine so basically now your firewall will be having the antivirus solution too fine so that is what module is however in today's scenario by default <laughs> your firewall is already coming up with all these features okay these are the things which i'm telling you what is used to be what is used to happen around 5 years back around 7 years back and you will see uh, in many of the deployments still the asas are there uh, the older versions of the asas are there where they are having a separate module to provide this antivirus services is it clear to everybody there are any queries uh yeah yeah i'm good okay uh miss miss mr mike any queries <laughs> i'm good okay fine so these are some list of the features that your cisco asa offers you fine now <coughs> let's move further let me just open the cisco asa once just hold on just wait wait I hope this diagram is visible to all of you. Yes, yes. 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 So basically, that's just a rear panel of a Cisco ASA. This is how it looks like. So you can see that that's that's a port where you can you you are going to plug in your cable. With this firewall, you can see there are six one gig copper ports are there. fine there is a dedicated management port with this firewall there is a console port too the usb port is there to upload the operating system or to take the backup or whatever it is then you can see there is something called io input output expansion slot so the module which i am talking about it is it is used to look like this only fine now it may input output expansion slot means for example if you would like to increase the number of ports on this firewall you can just purchase a module and you can insert that module here and you can increase the number of ports on the firewall fine these are the led status fine so this is how your cisco asa is going to look like that's the rear view in the front view it is not going to have any port or anything so that's why i have not taken it uh, one more thing uh, i would like mm -hmm. to ask here uh, mm -hmm. us it's uh, firewall i i not much worked i worked on blue code proxy only uh, asa uh, when we talk about asa so i want to know you said usb port is there right mm -hmm. so uh, do do we have flash same like cisco uh, router yes we yes 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 the flash is there on the cisco asa okay and 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 we we when we connect usb so it says usb flash zero right uh, like, uh, like that and absolutely can... here here it is going to show you disk zero okay 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 i'll show you i'll show you don't worry okay <coughs> now let me just take you to the eve platform
So before designing the lab on the EAT platform, let's go to the Cisco official Cisco website, cisco.com. And uh, if I go here in the product section, security, in the security, you can see there is something called secure firewall. Just click on this, it just scroll it down. And these are the bunch of the firewall or the series of the firewall, or you can say the products which Cisco offers as a firewall uplines. Fire, fire, firepower 1000 series, firepower 2100 series. Now what, this, now, what does this firepower stands for? Don't worry, we will talk about this in upcoming pl classes when, I, when I'm going to talk about the FTD, the firepower NGIPS. Then I'll discuss what is this firepower stands for. But as of now, just scroll it down. Can you see something here? Cisco ASA 5500X with the firepower service. Just click on it. Scroll it down. View data sheet. You can just click on it. Now we are on the data sheet, Cisco ASA 5500 series data sheet. Now, <coughs> see Cisco says that what are the models that are available with me? Cisco says that I'm having ASA 5506, 5508, 5516, 5525, 5545, 5555. And you can see here uh, the number of interfaces these far, uh, these firewall is going to have, fine. Now, when you talk about this, what is firewall? What is NGFW? What does this NGIPS means? We will talk about this, why we are having these different bandwidths over here. Fine, but not in uh, first class of the ASA, but surely in the later classes, we are going to discuss about this. Fine. I'll talk about all this, the firewall, this AVC application visibility control feature you can see over there on the firewall, this IPS feature is there. Fine. How many sessions a firewall can have maximum concurrent session? 50,000. So why I'm discussing about this? Let's suppose that as a network architect or as a solution architect or as a network engineer, let's suppose that your client asks you, I would like to purchase a firewall and I am having 100 users. Now as an engineer or as a network architect, if you have to propose a firewall to the customer. How will you choose the firewall? Now customer will ask you, which firewall should I purchase according to my requirement? Should I go for 5555 or should I go with the 5508? And we'll talk about all these things, but not in the first class again, in the, in the end of the firewall series. Once we are done with the, all the firewall features and the configuration part, I'll let you know about this, how to read this data sheet and how uh, you can just propose a firewall based on the customer requirement. Fine. Okay. Coming on to the other fact, cisco.com. Let's suppose that if you would like to give a CCI security version six lab someday. Fine. Now I would like to show you what appliances, what operating system you are going to have in your lab examination. So what do you need to do? Just click on the more section go to certifications and in the certification there is a field expert just click on it and once you click on it you can see the cci security is there click on it just scroll down and you can see the s score is there you, if you click on the s score you will you will be able to get the the, <coughs> the syllabus or you can say the all the topics in the s score then once you click on the CCI security version 6.0, you will be able to get the all the topics which you are going to get in your lab examination. Fine. Just scroll it down. But let me tell you that uh, <coughs> not all the topics will be included in the lab examination. Okay. It never happens. Just scroll it down. Now, could you see something here? CCI security version 6.0 equipment and the software list. Just click on it. And from here, you will be able to know which exactly software operating system or the appliance you are going to have in your lab examination. Fine. So just scroll it down. 
it says Cisco AnyConnect will be there, the Windows Server will be there. However, you do not need to worry that nobody is going to ask you to configure Windows Server in your lab examination. Do not just, okay, do not need to worry or do not just care of these things. These will be pre-configured in the lab examination. Okay, you do not need to perform anything, but just if you would, if you want to create your own lab, if you would like to build up your version six security lab, fine, then you need to have all these appliances. That's what it says, fine. Now come here, I would like to show you something called virtual machines. That means these appliances will be virtual. These are appliances are not going to be the hardware appliance in your lab examination, but you can see the physical appliances are there. Uh, so as of now, you can see Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance. ASA 5512 will be there having the operating system 9.2. Cisco 5516 will be there in your lab examination having the operating system 9.8. There will be two series of the switch 3650 and 3580. Done. And when you talk about the virtual firewall, you can see the virtual firewall is there also. Cisco Adaptive Security Virtual Appliance 9.4. Is it clear to everybody? Mr. Amit, Mr. Mike, do you have any query till this point? All right, thanks. So let's move back. Now, so I have showed you these are the devices on which you need to focus. Now talking about the configuration part, let me tell you whether you talk about the uh, virtual ASA or you talk about the physical ASA, okay? The configuration part, the CLI part or the GUI part is exactly similar. So you do not need to worry that, we, that you need to learn two different CLIs, no. The configuration part will be exactly similar for all the ASAs. Fine. Next thing, uh, talking about the books which you need to follow. So <coughs> I'm going to con uh, share this book with you. That Cisco ASA Configuration Guide by the Richard Dill. That's a very fantastic book for the ASA configuration. The highly recommended one to go through this. And apart from this, we will also follow this ASA 9.8 configuration guide. As you can see in your lab examination, the highest operating system that has been offered is 9.8, right? So that is why we are going to follow the ASA CLI configuration guide 9.8. So I'll share with this Cisco ASA series firewall CLI configuration guide 9.8. We shall follow this one along with that when we will talk about the configuration of VPN on the firewall, then we will uh, follow this particular configuration guide. Is it clear? So basically these three books is highly recommended to go through for your lab examination. <coughs> now, move back to your e-platform. ASA. Save. Add new lab. ASA. Save. Now. Go to node and you can see you are having two firewall, the Cisco ASA and Cisco ASA V. Now, let me tell you, when you talk about the Cisco ASA, basically it means that's a dedicated physical firewall, okay? And when you talk about this one, this is virtual firewall. As in the beginning of the session, I told you that the firewall can be deployed in two modes. The virtual firewall and the physical firewall. So the both the options are there on your e-platform. Fine. And from here, you can just decide whatever 
ram you would like to give to your firewall now let me tell you when you will try to uh, configure firewall on your e platform for the first time or the second time by default the ram will be 4096 okay however if your system is having a uh, less ram so what you can do you can keep it 512 but below 512 mb uh, the firewall is not going to give you the cli okay you will not be able to perform the configuration so maximum minimum you can bring down the ram on your firewall on the e platform that is 512 okay similarly let me take asa virtual also it is having ram 2048 that's fine save that's it <coughs> start so if you will start both the firewall if you will take the cli you will not notice any difference in these the appliances the configuration part the cli both the things are exactly similar now the firewalls are going to take certain amount of time to get started meanwhile let's discuss some other thing <coughs> so as i told you that previously the cisco was having the firewall uh, cisco firewall having the series 5500 okay then cisco came up with the 5500 x series now what is the difference between 5500 and the 5500 x series basically with the 5500 series asa the maximum bandwidth on the ports was supported is 10 mbps or 100 mbps with the 5500 x series all the ports on the firewall is having the bandwidth 10 mbps 100 mbps and 1000 mbps that means now every port of the firewall supports 1 gbps bandwidth however when you talk about the asa 5500 series firewall without x fine they were by default coming up with the 10 and 100 mbps of the maximum speed fine <coughs> now let's wait for the the cli of these appliances uh, you can see this is my cisco firewall asa and that's my virtual firewall asav right now this asa is uh, is going to take certain amount of time when you are going to start this firewall however the virtual firewall will come up a little quickly fine now uh, by default the name of the firewall the cisco asa is going to be cisco asa only and you can see the as we are having a cisco router and the switch we are having enable mode privilege mode and the global configuration mode in the cli similar is the case with the firewall too if i run the enable command so right now i am in the enable mode of the firewall execute it the firewall is going to ask you for the password i am talking about a fresh brand new firewall okay so let now guys have i given any password on the firewall as of now no but still your firewall is going to ask you the password because that's a security appliance so this is how the cisco has been designed designed it so let me tell you you do not need to enter any password over here just press enter and you will be moved to the privilege mode okay then if you want to move to the global configuration mode again the command is simple configuration terminal fine now let's talk about uh, if you want to check the details of the firewall on which you are working so basically in the sense you can just run this simple command on the firewall show version in the privilege mode and will and your firewall is going to give you some information your firewall says the cisco adaptive security appliance software version fine adapt the that means that's a virtual appliance it is having the operating uh, the ios version 9.6 just scroll it down your firewall says that i am having the hardware having a 2048 ram 
that's the processor. Fine, just scroll it down. When you will scroll it down, your firewall will give you this information. Now, what this information is all about? Basically, when you are going to purchase a firewall, fine, your firewall is having the list of all these features. Now, based on your customer requirement, as I told you that you have to propose a firewall and what features the firewall should be having, how much number of features that firewall should support. This is how the you are, this is how the licensing is done on the firewall. Okay. So you can see right now, fire, right now it says this firewall can support maximum how many interfaces, maximum 10 interfaces can be supported by this firewall. Okay. Maximum VLANs can be 50 on the firewall. Why the maximum VLANs is there? Guys, if you remember in the beginning of the session, I told you that firewall can perform the switching also. So that means you can configure the VLANs on the firewall too. Fine. What failover action you are having active standby? Fine. Then you can say the, are you using security context? Is it, is it allowed? It says the security context zero. That means as of now, you cannot use this security context feature. Then <clears throat> any connect premium peer means that if you are creating the remote VPN on the firewall, how many remote VPNs are allowed? Only two VPNs are allowed. Okay. So basically these are certain uh, information related to the license which you have purchased and what features and how much number of features have been provided to you. So you can just simply run this command show version and you can get the output. This is the serial number of your firewall. And it says right now your firewall is configured with the smart licensing. Fine. Now, if I run this command show flash, execute this command and you can see it is almost similar to your Cisco router and the switches when you execute this command. Also, if I execute this command show disk zero. So now if you notice the output of show flash and show disk is exactly similar. Okay. So why I'm telling you all this thing, because when you are going to create a logical firewalls, okay, when you are going to use the security context feature on the firewall, you will be required to dedicate the RAM. You will be required to dedicate the space to every logical firewall. And then you will be required all this information, which is being there in the show disk, or you can say the show flask. Fine. <coughs> Now, <coughs> now, if I have to check how many interfaces are there on this firewall, so what is the command on the router? Show IP interface brief, right? But if I execute this command here, it says invalid. Why? Because on the firewall, the command is show interface IP brief. Execute this and your firewall says right now, this firewall is having how many interfaces? Six interfaces. And there is one management interface. There is one dedicated management interface. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing. Let's suppose if I have to check the clock on the firewall, show clock. So again, the command is quite similar to the router and switch. If you want to set the clock on the firewall, you would like to set the time. So what is the command clock? Set, put question mark, then give the time. It's 25, 00, then day 6, September, year 2021. Put question mark, clock has been set. If I execute this command, show, clock, the time has been set. Fine. Another thing. Right now I have, I have executed some show commands on the file firewall, right? Let, if I want to check running configuration, show run, you can see the running configuration you can on the firewall. Okay. Now move to the global configuration. Guys, if you remember, Whenever you would you want to run any 
शो कमांड्स ऑन द राउटर एंड ऑन द स्विच इन द ग्लोबल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन मोड देन यू नीड टू रन डू शो रन राइट यू नीड टू यूज दिस की वर्ड डू बट ऑन द सिस्को ए एस ए यू डू नॉट यूज यू आर नॉट रिक्वायर टू यूज दिस की वर्ड डू यू कैन जस्ट डायरेक्ट रन दिस कमांड शो रन You can just direct run this command. Show clock. You can just direct run show interface IP brief. So this do keyword has been obsoleted in the firewall. It is not there. Okay, everyone is clear up to here. Mr. Amit, Mr. Mike, Tarun, any queries till this point? Yeah, I'm good. No. Okay. Fine. now let's suppose that i would like to configure an ip address on this interface of the firewall on the management interface okay so interface management 0/0 execute the command and now ip address put question mark either you can write dscp what does dscp means that this particular interface of the firewall will get the ip address from the dscp server okay and also you can configure the ip address directly now let's suppose that i would like to configure the ip address 10.0.0.1 find 255.0.0.0 that's it and no shutdown command check show interface ip brief you can see this interface has been configured with the ip address status is up now i want to check whatever running configuration i have done on the management interface so you can run the command show run interface management 0 by 0 and your firewall says that you have configured this ip address fine what is this management only no name if we'll talk about this but as of now just do not concern about this <coughs> now similarly let's suppose that i would like to configure an ip address on this interface interface gig 0/6 and i would like to configure the ip address 20.0.0.1 fine and the subnet mask is Class full subnet mask that is two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero, but I would not like to configure the subnet mask. Execute this, so you can see the command has been executed. Show run interface gig zero slash six. Your firewall says that you have configured this IP address along with this subnet mask. So what happens on the firewall if you do not give the subnet mask to any IP address? by default your firewall will assume that it is having the classful network classful subnet mask fine also show interface ip brief you can see the ip address have been configured other thing <coughs> how you can change the host name on the firewall host name and then asa 1 the name have been changed rest wait let me just take you to the physical firewall the physical firewall is still starting Okay, just hold on. Niraj, so when you mm -hmm. when you practice on right in EVNG, mm -hmm. isn't it best to just use the the ASAV, which boots up faster and all of that? See, when we are going to perform the configuration on the E platform, ninety nine percent in the on the in the cases I will be using the ASAV, but okay. in few of the practical I will be using ASA. Why? because the few practicals are only possible with the asa image of the okay. firewall i see i see that makes a lot of sense you know 
okay so when you will uh, when you will take the cli of the physical firewall on your eve do not forget to press enter sometimes you might need to press enter to get the exact cli or to get to or, or you can say to boot this firewall properly because you can see it is still booting up <laughs> okay on the virtual firewall when this firewall started up just wait guys th when this firewall started up this virtual firewall or when I, or if you talk about your physical firewall say it says that uh, loading starting image verification okay computed hash what it is so whenever you are going to reboot your firewall or whenever you are going to install the operating system or you can say the image on your firewall your firewall will always give you this kind of log message okay and what this log message basically means okay uh, let me just tell you let me just copy this one start image verification copy <laughs> so what happened guys you everybody is aware of the fact that we are having pirated images we are having the the authentic images in the uh, in the world right so what happens basically whenever you are going to install the operating system on your firewall okay let's suppose you are installing an image operating system on the firewall so basically your firewall will before installing this image on itself your firewall will calculate a hash value of this image let's suppose this is a pirated image fine so your firewall will first of all calculate the hash value fine and you can see it says the computed hash value of the image is this one can you see this now your firewall says getting the key records from the key storage in the boot directory i got to know that that there is a hash value this one so what do you so what do what does this mean basically when you are going to purchase a, a dedicated appliance from the cisco okay so within uh, the hardware of the firewall there will be some there will be a small chip and this chip will be carrying the complete database of the hash values of the ios fine so basically what happens when you will try to install an operating system or you can say when you are trying to install the uh, image in the flash memory of the firewall the before installing that firewall will going to calculate the hash value so whatever hash value has been calculated by the appliance fine it will check from its own database whether it matches or not so if it is a pirated operating system let's suppose that obviously the hash value will not match with the cisco database and the firewall will never install that image on itself is it clear so that is what the purpose of this hash computation has computation and you can see it says the starting image verification and this is not for the firewall even you talk about the cisco router or the cisco switches they every uh, cisco appliance does the same thing but on the firewall you you will get this uh, output while rebooting but on the cisco router and the switches you do not get this output fine so now that's move to the physical asa i hope we have got the cli now now uh, uh, just wait yes here it is so that's my uh, physical firewall okay so you can see the configuration part is quite similar 
शो वर्जन सो इन द शो वर्जन कमांड इट सेज दैट द सॉफ्टवेयर वर्जन दैट्स द रैम दैट्स द हार्डवेयर कम अप हेयर इट सेज दीज आर द फीचर्स नाउ इट सेज दैट दिस इज अ फिजिकल फायर वॉल व्हिच इज हैविंग द वीपीएन प्लस लाइसेंस so before proposing the firewall to any client you need to understand the licensing of an firewall and it says this firewall is having the vpn license and it says uh, how many physical interfaces are supported unlimited however it is not true the maximum vlans can be 100 it says the it suppose the active active failover it says how many security contacts can be there 20 but if you see on the virtual firewall If I execute the same command show version, it says the security context is zero. So that means the both the appliance, the the virtual appliance and the physical appliance is configured with the different licensing. The uh, virtual appliance is having the smart licensing, and this is having the VPS plus license licensing. It says how many remote VPN can you establish? It says that the ten thousand VPN connection can be established. but with the virtual firewall it says maximum 2 vpn remote vpn connection so this is all about the licensing part how you purchase the uh, firewall from the cisco and which uh, license you would like to procure fine rest the configuration part is quite similar on both the appliances configuration terminal host name asa to show run show clock show interface ip brief now in the physical in physical firewall maximum interfaces are four interfaces and do you see any management interface here but on the virtual firewall show interface ip brief the management interface is there and the six interfaces that are, are there so basically in 99% of the cases we are going to conduct the practicals on the virtual firewall only but in few practicals i will be using the physical firewall fine and that's all